Welcome back to Theatre Time. You see behind me we're, we're um, in a proper theatre and it's, it's all nice and plush and it's fairly typical of, of what people think a London theatre to look like and that's good because it's a short story about what happened in during a show in a London theatre. Um, a light bulb exploded. I've only known three light bulbs explode uh, and one was at college one was in the theater and the other one was a sun flood outside which we were using to melt wax to make candles don't ask about that one that was quite impressive that was a linear halogen that went bang anyway this one wasn't this was a 263 might be a 264. If we're lucky, we'll get a picture of a 263 or 264 floating around. So I'll probably fill up all the background knowing what, uh, knowing what Sarah's like. But anyway. And the board at this particular theatre was up in the gods. The gods were close to the public. And, you know, that's where the board operator sat. We sat there, up there, right on the edge. Board there, view straight down to the stage. Stage would be about where you lot are. And you just sit there, you've got your cans on, and you just sit there and press a button or flip a lever or whatever. Do you put, um, it was a manual playback, so it was crossfade from one to the other. It was a compact 80, and everything sweetness and light. It was a remarkably dull play called Happy Families. Uh, it was got an audience in, fine. And in those days, you know, you could smoke, so there'd be a cigarette, uh, be an ashtray sat on the edge of the ledge, you know, just right for when you've got your feet up there to accidentally knock it off. And it would descend into the royal circle and probably kill someone, but that never happened. So I sat there with my feet up, slowly snoozing off. And there's this bang. Oh, yeah. And immediately, the, the, the um, uh, um, I think it was the assistant stage manager was straight in on the counter. What was that? Well, I don't know. What have you done? I haven't done anything. You haven't kicked the ashtray off. No, I haven't kicked the ashtray off. The ashtray's there. It's all right. I know where the ashtray is. Um, hang on. I'll have a look. So I lean out over, and you, you can see all the bald heads and the ladies' hats in the, you know, the circle beneath. They look around. Mm, you got a lamp out. <laughs> Okay, he says, um, can you replace it? And funnily enough, I just happened to have a lamp sat on top of the desk. It was just there. It never happens. Uh, yeah, actually, I can. So I wound it down on the fader. Um, well, you know, you don't wind it down on the fader. You select the... I had to have a clamber over, see what channel it was in. Selected it on the channel, wound it down, unplugged it, and I realised it was a bit warm. So I was like, hang on, I said, oh, oh, hot. Well, how long is it going to take? How long is it going to take? It's going to take me a good 10 minutes. I've got to wait for it to cool first. I can't touch it. Anyway, it cooled. Uh, a clippy thing. So now try very quietly to open the top of this 264 and pull the lamp out. They're base up, so the lamp go, hangs down vertically. They're so pulling this thing out. Okay, right. And it has separated right around the lamp cap. I'm just looking for a sort of tubular shaped halogen thing there's one round here somewhere i don't know where it is and it separate around the lamp cap and the the whole of the glass bit was resting on the filament supports the main filament supports inside the lamp and i've got to get this out so it's gently pushed it it was still hot mind pushed it back and, and twisted it and it came apart i got the lamp power put a new one in drop it back in clunk we sort of start fading it up we brought it back to the stage manager, it was the start it flat, wound it up on the wheel. Uh, nothing happens. Oh. So then got to wait. Uh, how long before the next queue? He said five minutes. I said, Why? I said, I've got to go to the dimmer room. Which channel's it on? Okay, go to the dimmer room, find some fuses, change the fuses. There were proper cartridge fuses in those days. Well, they weren't, they were BS88s, whatever they are, uh, high rupturing capacity. Um, 10 amp. Change of fuse, plonked it in, nothing went crackled, so that's okay, there's no load on. Went back, phased it up, and just very gently, just ghosting it in, just getting to where it should be. And I get standby LXQ, whatever it was. Oh, I've got to turn it out now. <laughs> but it can be done. What we're saying is that, that it can be done and the you know lamps do explode. Apparently xenon lamps exploding 
uh, make quite a big bang. A horrendously big bang and can do lots of damage. So don't handle uh, xenons outside their plastic cases except when they're clamped inside their, their fitting. And the other one, we were in the school workshop and we had a pattern 23 and everyone's mucking about and some of us are trying to do some serious work. And again, there's this big bang followed by a tinkle of glass. And that was a T1 of which there's one around here somewhere as well, but I, so I don't know, I've buried them somewhere. I'll just have a look. Ah. I found, a, I found a, a tubular halogen, not a tubular halogen, it's not halogen, tubular tungsten. You've seen this one before, it's appeared in other videos. It was a smaller version of this, uh, the one in the theatre was a smaller version of this and it had separated round there. So all the glass was hanging on the, I don't know if you can see them, the interior, the main filament supports inside. It was... Um, Quite interesting when you think, oh, I've now got to get this out of it. It was a P28S cap, not, not a P40. That's a P40. Um, they might be lucky. I might actually find the T1. It's the T1 with the bulge in it. There it is. Which end does it come out? Like Christmas. Hey, ah, there's a T1. Oh, something's broken in there. Oh, there's a filament support. Oh, there's a filament's all falling apart in it. Oh, it's one of those. Oh, they're, they're quite, as you can see, put it against my head. They're quite sizable, and that's what exploded at college. Which was again, I went off with quite a pop and caused a lot of worry. It happens. And what we're going to tell, I'm tempted to say next time I talk about blowing holes in the pavement, but I probably won't. We might talk, we might do the first, uh, excuse me, we might do the first part of quite a few about um, a, things that happened in, in one of the larger West End musicals. So that's something to look forward to. We'll see you later.